So in this short video, we're going to see how we can decide which ionic substances have a higher melting point than others. And we need to remember two key ideas. First of all, it's about the bond between them. So the stronger the ionic bond between the metal and non-metal ion, the higher the melting point. And that's because more energy is required to break the bonds. And you need to include both those statements in your answer. But of course, the problem is, what makes an ionic bond stronger? And there are two things. First of all, the greater the charge on the ions, e.g. a 2 plus ion rather than a plus 1 ion, will have a greater electrostatic attraction. And secondly, the smaller the ionic radius, the closer the ions are together, and again, the stronger that electrostatic attraction. So let's look at three different examples of the type of question you might have. So the first one might say, which has a higher melting point, sodium chloride or sodium fluoride? Well, I've tried to help you by sketching a diagram here of the two. So we've got sodium chloride here and we've got sodium fluoride here. Now, you can see they both have identical charges. But you can see that chlorine has got an extra shell than fluorine. So fluorine is a smaller ion and therefore the sodium and fluorine ions are close together. Therefore, the electrostatic attraction is stronger and therefore the ionic bond is stronger and therefore more energy is needed to break it. In an exam question, you would just say fluorine ion is smaller than the chlorine ion. Therefore, the distance between the sodium and fluorine ion is less. Therefore, the ionic bond is stronger and more energy is then needed to break the bond so its melting point is higher. So let's have a look at another example. Which has a higher melting point, sodium chloride or magnesium chloride? So we've got sodium chloride there. If we imagine that the red this time is magnesium, and of course magnesium has a two plus charge because it's in group two. You'll notice there's not much difference in ionic radius, and there's no difference in ionic radius for the chlorine, but you'll notice magnesium has a two plus ion, therefore there's a greater electrostatic attraction and therefore a stronger ionic bond between magnesium and chlorine, so that has the higher melting point because more energy is needed to break the bonds. And finally, let's have a look at this one. Which has a higher melting point, lithium chloride or beryllium fluoride? So first of all, we've got lithium chloride, we've got a plus ion and a minus ion. Compared with beryllium, which is a plus two ion, and fluorine, which is a minus ion. And therefore, the ionic bond is stronger, first of all, because beryllium has a greater charge, but also the fluorine ion is smaller than the chlorine ion, so therefore, there is a stronger electrostatic attraction because these two ions are closer together. So this beryllium fluoride will have a much higher melting point than lithium chloride for those two reasons.